नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन थर्टीन क्वेश्चन देर आर वन एटी मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन इन ये टेस्ट ए कैंडिडेट गेट्स फोर मार्क्स फोर मार्क्स फॉर करेक्ट आंसर एंड फॉर एवरी अन अन अटेम्प्ट आर रॉन्गली आंसर्ड क्वेश्चन वन मार्क इज डिडक्टेड फ्रॉम द टोटल स्कोर ऑफ द करेक्ट आंसर्स If a candidate scored 450 marks in a test, how many questions did he answer correctly? Here, one <coughs> test in that 180 multiple choice questions are there. In one test, 180 multiple choice questions are there. In that, for every correct answer, they are giving four marks. For every correct answer, they are giving four marks, and wrong answer or unattempted um, questions, they will give. One mark deducted from the total score means minus one. They will give minus one for wrong answer and unattempted uh, question. Now, if the candidate <coughs> scored four fifty marks, how many marks candidate scored four fifty marks? How many questions did he answer correctly? See first, how many questions? One eighty questions. Total one eighty. Now in that. Correct, wrong answers. Suppose correct answers x, then wrong answers how one eighty minus x. Now for correct answers, how many marks they are giving? Plus four marks. Plus four marks. For wrong answer, minus one mark. Then what is the total score? If you add these two, you will get score. Understood. Now total questions one eighty questions. In that some correct answers, some wrong answers. For how many correct answers we assume as x, then wrong answers become one eighty minus x. If correct answer, they are giving four marks. For wrong answer, one mark. Then total score, if you add, you will get total score of that candidate. Now total questions one eighty. Total questions one eighty. Correct answers assume x. Then incorrect answers means wrong answers. One eighty minus x because total minus correct we will get the incorrect. Next marks for one correct answer four marks. How many marks? Four marks for how many correct answers here? X. Then x into four four x. Next marks for one incorrect answer minus one. Then How many incorrect questions are one eighty minus x means one eighty minus x into minus one marks for incorrect answers means one eighty minus x into minus one plus into minus minus one eighty ones are one eighty x into one x minus into minus plus. Now total score is equal correct plus incorrect marks means four x plus one minus one eighty plus x is equal five x minus one eighty. Now, for as per problem, candidate scored how many marks? Candidate scored four fifty marks. As per problem, total score is four fifty. Then we can substitute. We can equalize the two expressions. What are those? Five x minus one eighty is equal to four fifty. Because as per um, problem, four fifty marks. As per our consideration, five x minus one eighty. Now five x is equal to four fifty plus minus goes that side it become plus one eighty five x is equal to six thirty then x is equal to six thirty by five five how many times goes one twenty six times means what is x we assumed correct answers now he answered one twenty six questions correctly next a person spent five sixty four in buying pens and pencils. How much money he spent for pens and pencils? Five sixty-four rupees. If one pen cost seven rupees and each pencil three rupees, what is the cost of pen? Seven rupees and pencil three rupees. If the total number of things bought was one not eight, means number of pens plus number of pencils one not eight. We don't know how many pens he bought and how many pencils he bought, but we know total items are one not eight. How many of each type did he buy? Means how many pens he bought, how many pencils he bought? We have to find out. Now spent money five sixty four. Here total articles how many? One not eight. In that how many items are there? Two items. What are those? Pens, 
pencils. Now pencils suppose if you assume as x then pencils 108 minus x. Now total number of items 108 then total money 564. Then we, we have to assume number of pencil x. Then number of pencils 108 minus x because total minus pencil you will get pencils. Cost of one pen 7 rupees. Cost of one pencil 3 rupees. Now total cost of how many pence uh, we assumed x then x pence is equal to 7x rupees. Then total cost of pencils 108 minus x into 3, 324 minus 3x. Now total spent money means how many items you bought 2 items then if you add 2 items cost you will get total spent money. Then total spent money is equal to cost of pence plus cost of pencils then 4x plus 324. But as per problem what he told 564 he spent for pens and pencils means 4x plus 324 is equal to 564. 4x is equal to 564 minus 324. 4x is equal to 240. x is equal to 60. What, what is x we assumed as pens then number of pens is equal to 60. Number of pencils 108 minus 60, 48. Now, how many items he bought? 108 in that 60 pence, 48 pencils.